Hello guys, welcome back to Tonton Review. Today I don't have any new transport figures to show you, but rather this. So this is the new Hasbro Power Ranger Buildable Dead Megazord line. And to most of you who will complain in the comment section about this figure being not detailed or anything. So this line is meant for children, for the playable value of it, rather than the collectible side. So to begin this video, I will talk about the five individual Zords first, and then I will go into the combined mode. So to begin with, we have the Tyrannosaurus Zord. I'm not going to say too much about this design because we have seen various amount of this right here. Or I can say it, it still keeps the old design of the dinosaur being standing up. And you can notice this two huge joint connector onto the knees over here. And I guess this is for children, so they don't really try to hide it away. And this is the same pattern with the Legacy Dino Megazord, which is kind of a shame. But other than that, this is only a plastic piece and not too much of details uh, onto him. You got some painted sections like on the thighs and on the eyes and this and this. And that is pretty much everything you got. And also the tail is uh, hollow. I guess this is for saving with the plastic reduce the amount of plastic they use and this is hollow as well so, and you get some articulated point because like it's a t-rex and that is pretty much it for the Tyrannosaurus sword uh, one more thing is that when you can actually open his mouth and I'm glad they keep all the details and you can see even the two guns onto his mouth that is pretty interesting but enough of the this one here, let's move on to the next one. The second one on the line is the Mastodon Zord, and we all seen this. And this is quite a solid beast mode. I quite enjoy having him because the, the solidness he has. And other than that, as you can see here, the nose and the tusk is made from rubber to prevent it from breaking. And this is a children product, so that is understandable. And I despise this right here, that is a decals stick again and they even did they didn't even try to like apply it nicely as you can see there's this detail popping up like that and that is really bad in my opinion that is so bad and other than that you got lacking with the ears details one more thing yes that i really enjoy the fact that they apply the two joints on here so it actually can move it heads a little bit so yeah that is quite nice and overall, I only like this one because of its solidness. I don't need like I don't like the rest of the details or, or anything at all. So move on. So this one is the Triceratops Megazord, and again, this is still a solid piece of plastic without any articulation at all. And as you can see, the head sculpt and the face are still the same as we've seen before. The horns are made from rubber, and uh, that is it. Oh, what about the tails? The tails are supposed to have two guns on it, but then they're lazy, so they cut corners here and there. And then if you flip back to the trench, that is unpainted, and they have this wheel thingy, which is kind of weird because like the wheels are for supposed to sort of the fake trench, so it actually can move. But this is so weird. I don't know why they do that. But that is maybe to balance the height of the tank mode, maybe that. And other than that, this is just it. And that's just everything I gotta say about this one. The next one we have on the line will be the Saber Tooth Tiger Megazord. And this looks like a dog to me because of the how look how long the head is. That's more like a dog. And other than that, it is still has a painted nose, but as you can see that painted is not applied really nice on the nose. And then the whole proportion looks weird because if you want to balance the tiger, it looks like this. So it's kind of weird for me. Seriously, it's kind of weird. And other than that, we still got those decals and everything. And that is... They're gonna be peeled up really soon. So I think I'm gonna paint this guy in the future. Or something like that. That will be it. And moving on. So the final Zord we have is the Pterodactyl Zord. I quite enjoy this one. Because the reason is that the pink on the head is actually painted. So they're really nice highlight. And as you can see, the whole chest plate there is painted as well. And I enjoy the silver because it catch the light r really well. Unfortunately, we still have many decals over here and there. But overall, it is not a bad thing. It is still the same thing that we have seen before. 
and you can see some details on over here as well they spend the time to do this detail but then they skip onto the paint of the other sort so that would be it now let's get to combination so this is the five swords standing together and they're still the good team but other than that oh uh, the saber tooth tiger legs has some problems and just keep falling and i quite disappointed about that to be honest and now look at the instruction they have the time to make this color printed they spent the effort of color printed this and they did not even try better and this one here got two modes he got the tank mode and the megazord mode so now let's get to the tank mode first and then let's get to the megazord first of all take the t uh, tyrannosaurus zord and bend the knee and do this shape and then bring the tail up like that and the arms just bring them in bring them out like that and we are done with this one and then take the mastodon and take out the head and then bring the arms out bring the body out I'm sorry it is quite tricky at this part here so do be careful and this is quite stiff too stiff for product for children and then you can just bring this up bring that up there are the cars and then just straighten the leg section which will be the cannon and then bring them up just like that and you're done with the mastodon for this one you simply fold in the tail this one is a little bit more exciting so you actually bring in the tail as well but then you have to close the leg like that and then bring the teeth in in like that you're done as well for the serodactyl you just simply remove this two leg and that will be it so now you're just attaching this two tabs onto this two section over here and then tap them in at the sides and now you just connect this two ports onto this, this two hole right here Now for the chest, you just flip out, you're gonna flip out this holding over here and plug it onto the holes onto the chest of the Tyrannosaurus. And then take the two guns and put them onto the two holes of the leg from the tank. And finally with the Heratracle, you just simply plug this onto here that will keep it in the middle of it. Actually, I can read that shit. And so here we have the tank mode. I'm not gonna bother going to the details of this because this is only the middle transformation. Anyway, this is still the same thing, and the reason for this I will tell in the final section of the video, but that will be it. So now I think let's move on to the next transformation. So, to, in order to transform the tank mode into the Megazord mode, you simply just remove this gun, take out the elephant's head. Open up the chest of the T-Rex Bring the dinosaur head down Close it in Take out the pterodactyl And Flip the tail up And then just bring the whole figure up And then flip out this Teeth Then bring, bring down the arms and then flip out the hands and then you can actually grab this and just transform it onto the chest armor and plug it in and now you can flip out the horns on the face and this here you can attach the gun This thing keep falling out And there we go Fishing transforming this guy And he's still the same thing But this time it's for children More for children 
because the thing is that with the recently release of this figures, the Dino Megazord design, it is meant for the collectibles. So I'm quite happy to see they try to bring this to the children, the smaller range of customers of toys for children. But since this is being a toy for children, it will have many problems, which I'm going to showcase right now. Uh, now. So let's get to the details of it. The details of this guy doesn't bring much, but so I'm going to only, only focus onto the face sculpt because that is the only thing that wasn't shown into the individual Zord mode. So I'm quite impressed with the face here because they are all painted and a really nice paint. I enjoyed the paint and it shows the characteristic. And the only downside will be the lacking of the black paint onto the, the eyes. And that is a shame, but never mind to that. Other than that, this is a perfect fit for these figures. So about the details of this figure, like I have mentioned, this lacks paint because the children reach issue. And so as you can see, the knees here are unpainted, which is a shame. And then the arms as well. So I think I'm going to pr probably paint this guy in the future. And one more thing about this guy I really don't like, it's at the heels. So normally with the other release, so this should be a heel section over here. But up onto the saber tooth tiger, we have no none of that. So it is quite hard for this guy to stand. So a little bit of comparison between this beautiful figures and the SOC Dino Megazord. I'm not going to compare the details because the price are way too different. So the only thing I'm going to compare is the scaling. And I think the scaling onto the bicep of the SOC is a little bit longer. But then the beautiful has a longer thighs. So they are quite on a similar size. Other than that, that is the only thing I should be comparing. And that will be it for the comparison. So I mean like the modern aesthetic, I think I would prefer the aesthetic of the beautiful because I enjoy having some longer thighs. And the leg is not as bulky as the SOC. But then again, this is people's opinions. And one more thing is that the guns of the beautiful figure is too small. Like at this shot here, if you look at it, the guns completely disappear. But with the SOC, the gun is much bigger and can be visible. So that could be it. Now let's get to some accessories of this guy. Accessory wise, first is a elephant head shield and I have mentioned this so there's nothing new. You can simply add it up by plug it onto his hand and that would be it. And the other accessory is of course his sword and this is a terrible sword because like it's plain, it's hollow, empty and one side you got this little thingy running through details but then on the other side you don't have it. So in, a, in my opinion, a terrible accessory. So you can, and also you can just add it by plugging it onto his hand. Just like that. And then we have him completely geared up. So articulation wise, this is a combining um, gut tie, whatever you call it. But the, the articulation is quite limited. So the, uh, on the articulation I found, this guy will be onto the arms and the waist. So for the arms, you can do some ro swing out like that. And a ro full rotation. You got a bicep swivel. You got a elbow bend and that will be it. And the there's a waist swivel but you have to actually you have to untap the dinosaur the T-Rex tail out so you're gonna actually have to have some swivel a limited swivel and that will be it for the leg you can actually do a little split and then do the kick to the front and kick not to the back as much and that will be it uh, a little bit of let down is that they don't give him a thigh swivel because with that space I think that could be easily done I think it would be better if they can make a knee band of some, some sort and a pivot that would be better for standing and articulating and so that could be it for the articulation so that is my review of this guy what do you guys think so I think like for this guy with the price that he comes with I like I got this set for around like 60 bucks or something that's a good and decent price for a combine if you are low on fundings. But then if not, like, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is meant for children, not for collectors. And so, yeah, I got mixed up. So I think I'm probably going to custom this guy up or something like that. So with some custom paint and everything else. And so that could be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and comment what you guys think of this figure and follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my updates. And if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. So that will be it for today guys. Tonton out.